Hello everyone, welcome to this series on the history of English literature. And in this video, we are going to discuss prose writers between Chaucer and Spenser. Introduction The period between Chaucer and Spenser marks a significant transitional phase in English literature, particularly in the realm of prose writing. This era, spanning from the late 14th century to the late 16th century, saw the emergence of several notable prose writers who contributed to the development of English prose style and literary tradition. Among these writers, Reginald Peacock, William Caxton, John Fisher, Hugh Latimer and Sir Thomas More stand out for their distinct contributions and enduring legacies. Reginald Peacock, 1390-1461 Reginald Peacock, possibly born in Wales and educated at Oxford, emerged as a prominent figure due to his vigorous attacks on the Lollards. His outspokenness, however, led to his conviction for heresy in 1457, forcing him to make a public recantation and resign from his position as Bishop of Chichester. Peacock's major work, The Repressor of Overmuch Blaming of the Faith, reflects his strong dogmatic stance. Despite his eventual fall into obscurity around 1460, Peacock's contributions to religious and philosophical discourse were significant during his time. William Caxton, 1422-1491 William Caxton, often hailed as the father of English printing, revolutionized the dissemination of literature in English. In 1477, he printed the first book in England, The Dictees and Sayings of Philosophers. Caxton's role extended beyond printing. He also translated and printed notable works such as Requel of the Histories of Troy, 1471, and Game and Players of the Chess, 1475. His introductions to many books reveal his self-awareness as a literary artist, striving for clarity and accessibility in his writings. Despite his efforts, Caxton's style was often marked by complex sentences and the use of foreign phrases. Nonetheless, his impact on English literature was profound, preserving and promoting works of real quality known in this day. John Fisher, 1459-1535 John Fisher, born in Yorkshire and educated at Cambridge, became Bishop of Rochester and a significant figure during the Reformation. He opposed Henry VIII's claim as the head of the English Church, which led to his imprisonment and eventual execution. Fisher's English prose, comprising tracts and sermons, is notable for its rhetorical religious style. His works exhibit a clear advancement towards an ornate prose style characterized by the use of doublets, rhythmic flow, and a Latinized vocabulary. Fisher's prose style can be seen as a precursor to the elaborate prose of later writers like Jeremy Taylor, Hugh Latimer, 1485-1555. Hugh Latimer, born in Leicestershire and educated at Cambridge, served as a bishop of Worcester. His resistance to some of Henry VIII's reforms led to his imprisonment and eventual execution by burning under Mary I. Latimer's prose works, particularly his two volumes of sermons published in 1549, are distinguished by their plain and dogmatic exposition graphical power, and homely appeal. As the first writer of the plain style, Latimer's approach was straightforward and accessible, focusing on clear communication rather than ornate expression. Sir Thomas More, 1478-1535 Sir Thomas More, born in London and educated under the influence of humanists like Erasmus and Colette, made significant contributions to both English and Latin literature. His refusal to accept the act of supremacy led to his imprisonment and execution in 1535. Most Latin works including Utopia, 
were highly regarded for their elegance and wit. His English prose, encompassing works such as The Life of John Pycus and The History of Richard III, is characterized by clarity and adeptness, though lacking the stylistic distinction of his Latin writings. Moore's writings reflect his keen intellect and the influence of humanist ideals, marking him as the first writer of the middle style. Conclusion The prose writers between Chaucer and Spencer played crucial roles in shaping the evolution of English prose. Reginald Peacock's dogmatic writings, William Caxton's pioneering printing efforts, John Fisher's rhetorical religious style, Hugh Latimer's plain sermons and Sir Thomas More's humanist-influenced prose collectively contributed to the richness and diversity of English literature. Their works laid the foundation for future developments in prose style, bridging the gap between the medieval and renaissance periods. Through their contributions, these writers left an indelible mark on the literary landscape, ensuring their place in the annals of English literary history. So this was the discussion on the prose writers between the age of Chaucer and Spencer. We will meet in the next video and discuss some other topic. Until then, goodbye and thank you.